Hello, hello everyone. It is me, Jessica. Um, I just wanted to like show my face and talk to you guys again or whatever. Um, cause I don't have a very good setup currently. I'm super rookie style. I don't have a uh, face cam or anything professional. Um, still recording on my phone. So if you're watching, I appreciate you. I'm having a blast either way though. And I just kind of wanted to, I don't know, just take like five minutes to kind of like talk about, um, a little bit more about who I am. Stay at home mom. If you haven't gathered that, if you're watching, then you already know that. Um, I I just kind of, I don't know. I, uh, I worked a whole lot whenever I was younger and I moved to Colorado and lo and behold, my um, future husband was already living in Colorado. We met through, um, sorry, I'm gonna touch my nose, touch my face during this crisis, oh my gosh. Um, but I don't leave my house, so don't worry. I don't contact other people like on a normal basis. So like this whole being confined to my house thing, but that's basically where I'm at. It's like, it's no nothing new, no change. I'm still doing exactly what I was doing a few months ago. So before me and my husband met, um, I was working at Outback. Um, like for nine years full time for forever. And um, I decided that it was time for me to move to Colorado because that was always a lifelong dream of mine. Still is, we're back in Oklahoma though. And it's kind of for the best right now. We have our little girl, she is nine months old today. Um, and we're both from Oklahoma, surprisingly. He had moved out to Colorado before me and he had worked with a guy that I was not actually been working with he worked at a different outback um but we met through him and then he's actually the one who ordained like our marriage and like married us um this is very appropriate since he's the reason that we met um so i we we think that our little story is kind of cute oh i'm sorry my cats are eating and apparently i'll be back okay we're back and uh, this is not going as I planned it, but you know, when does anything ever go as you plan it? Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, whenever we moved back to Oklahoma, our pregnancy wasn't exactly high risk, but um, she was a little underweight for most of our pregnancy for like what they wanted her to weigh. She was in the lower percentile. Um, plus she was breached the whole time and made my life really difficult. We had to have a C-section. Regardless of the fact that like her weight was good. They were happy with her weight by the end of it. And they said that if she flipped, we could have like a normal, a normal life. <laughs> and of course not, you know, when does anything ever go to plan? Um, but we, uh, we dealt with that situation and she's perfect and I'm healing just fine. I mean, you know, C-sections as fine as I can be. I won't get into that though. That's not what we're here for. Um, but yeah, I just, in my time of being home while I was pregnant and then I haven't gone back to work, we're living on the one paycheck, um, and it's not necessarily easy, but it is best because I, I, I get so much time with her and it, it's really, you can't replace that. And I, I struggled with like being at home for quite a while. Um, cause I, I liked working. I was a manager. I, I enjoyed working 65, 70 hours a week and I thrived on the chaos and um, I don't know, just call me crazy. But I had to tell myself a lot, like most moms would kill to be at home with their kids the way I am. And so I had to remind myself that like, even if the circumstances weren't how I wanted them to be, they were still not bad. So um, anyways, uh, less of that mushy stuff. And uh, just, yeah, I watched a ton of, uh, I started with like builds with Delegacy and James Turner. I watched a lot of builds because I wanted to get better at building. And then I think I stumbled across, um, Lil Simsy because of her like build tutorial that I think most of us have seen. Um, but then I just started watching a lot of her Let's Plays because I genuinely just, um, just started enjoying it. I started really enjoying watching Let's Plays. So here I am because my husband doesn't want to hear me talk about it anymore. Um, that's what I'm doing. I am uh, looking to the Sims community to nerd with me. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Here's our male cat. <laughs> oh. 
He's a cuddle bug. His name is Sol, because um, I've talked about Sol and Luna. And uh, he had the sun and I had the moon. He's so cute. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have any questions for me, if you have uh, comments, feelings about the Let's Plays the series and stuff like that, please comment. Please let me know what you're thinking because I, uh, I have a lot of free time and so that's why I kind of upload two, three videos a day is because I like, I want her to have her individual time and to not, when we're home 24 seven together, I want her to know that like, I am here, but... We don't have to be on top of each other all the time. So yeah, I can take 20 minutes to record while she spends 20 minutes watching her video. Um, she loves Hotel Transylvania too. That's the one that we have. Um, kid stuff. I love kid movies. I'm a, a child at heart. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I think I will go ahead and stop rambling. I just wanted to like say hi. And um, I don't know, I think I'm gonna start a Rags to Riches. And I really wanna do the Not So Berry Challenge, but I don't have the Get to Work pack. I don't have all the packs. Um, I have a lot of the packs, but I don't have all the packs. And I, I don't wanna cheat or like skip generations or anything like that or make a different kind of style. Um, I just wanna I want to do the Nuts and Berry Challenge. So I'm going to be patient. Coming to you eventually. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if you guys like what I got going on, subscribe, hang out, talk to me, comment, tell me what you think. And uh, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye!